Hey, it's Tom and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a hard drive to this HP laptop. Now, this is the HP Pavilion 14-CE0505SA. What a model number. <laughs> Now you may be thinking, why on earth would I be showing you how to add a second hard drive to this laptop? Sh surely it's easy. Well, it turns out it isn't that easy because this uses an M.2 SSD, okay? And there is a space for a additional hard drive or an additional SSD. However, HP buggers. They haven't included the cable to add this SSD or hard drive in. So, I've been looking for ages online to find this cable and it turns out that HP have now discontinued it they managed to find something on eBay now this is literally the cable that wasn't supplied I believe it or not. I'm not sure if it's an original HP or not it doesn't say that but as you can probably see you got your SATA connectors there and then you got the ribbon in the back so I'm going to be adding a hard drive, I'm going to be adding a 500 gig hard drive I had lying around from my old laptop. Uh, feel free to check out the video on that laptop as well, somewhere up here. And yeah, it's 500 gigs, it should be perfect for extra storage. Yeah, so it's literally a nightmare to open this case, uh, but I had one of these and all you do is literally you sort of pry it open because yeah, there's clips just under the case, but I finally managed to do it. You can, you can do it with a credit card, but it's going to be extremely difficult to do so. And this is the area where your hard drive would go into. Now the one thing I didn't purchase um, is the caddy itself because I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'm hoping that I won't need a caddy. Now the hard drive I'm using for this is one from my previous laptop, as I've already mentioned, the slimline. So hopefully that will fit. So this is the cable once again. We'll lift that little flap and put it in there. Hopefully it will fit. Okay, no. Right, perfect. So you have to make sure, there's these little two clips here, I'm not sure if you can see. You have to make sure that they are aligned. Now, I'm going to have to somehow, oh this is badly, but this is a bad design I think, HP, what were you thinking? Really? I have to sort of do it like that, but it looks so things, so let's have a look. So yeah, I totally get why you'd need a bracket here. Unfortunately, I don't have one, so I'm going to improvise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add these little rubber slides just on here to hold it in place. Okay, so what I've done there is I put these little pads on. And sorry, I didn't show you how. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, press record. But that should hopefully stop it from moving around so much. So now, the big question is, will it work? So I can feel the hard drive uh, spinning, which is a good sign, I hope. It's going in power. Yeah, you can feel it spinning. 
so I'm gonna go to disk management I have no idea what's on this hard drive look at that beautiful it's detecting it without any issue so I'm just gonna create a new sample volume just to make sure I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna call it anything it's a shame that I couldn't find the proper uh, bracket for it but nevertheless I managed to do a makeshift one and that's all done I'll put information about the cable I purchased in the description of this video and I hope you liked it stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe for more